Today, I'm going to mount a Rafita 4 Cryptantha two ways. I'll mount it up on a plank and on a moss pole. I'm Nora, the Lekka Queen. Thank you for joining me. I'll show you how I'm going to mount up my Rafita 4 Cryptantha. And I'll start by demonstrating how I make a custom moss pole for my Cryptantha. Let's get to it. So a cryptantha is a shingling plant and it's going to lie flat on my moss pole. So in order to make that moss pole, I'm going to need a very long mesh. I'll tell you how wide this mesh is. The mesh is eight centimeters wide and about a meter long. I'm going to use plastic sheet backing for this moss pole. So that's going to go like that. That is nine centimeters in width. I'm also going to need a metal rod for this. So I'll bring you down and I'll show you how I make that. I've got my plastic sheets here. I have previously made holes along the length and the width of the plastic sheet backing and in between so it can attach to my metal pole. And before I forget, I will put these in. That is the outside of my moss pole. I will now attach the mesh to the plastic sheet. So now that I've got all that put in, I will cut off these bits of cable tie. Okay, that is my moss, my mesh attached to my plastic sheet. I'll now grab my sphagnum moss, which is moist. And for this particular moss pole, we do not need a lot. Because this is a shingling plant, all it needs is a surface that's going to have some moisture. That is all. So we're not packing this full of moss as we would with our normal moss poles. So it's just going to be a very, very thin moss pole. Very, very thin. So something like that will actually work for this moss pole. Very, very thin. And I then close that off with more cable ties. That is my moss pole, all fixed up, and I'll just cut off these bits. And remember to turn the heads of the cable ties inwards so they don't cut up your gorgeous Raffidophora leaves. So I've just got something long here just to make my moss pole a bit neat. Push all that in. So I've got a metal rod here, and this metal rod is 900 centimeters long, so just under a meter high. I've got my pot here. This is the pot I'm going to put the plant in. So I measure that out, so I know that this part of my metal rod is going to be inside the nursery pot. So I now attach this metal rod to my moss pole with the cable ties that I had previously put in. And this makes things just that bit easier. This here is the moss pole that I'm going to put my Raffidophora on. You can see it's really, really thin and long. And this is the part that's going to go inside my pot. That's part that's going to be exposed to Lekka. And there is scope to extend this moss pole as well. So I'll just cut those bits off. This is the plank that I am going to put my plant on and it is uh, just a standard grade pine plank that I got from Bunning is, hang on, 89 by 19 millimeters. So 89, 19 millimeters thick and it, it is 1.2 meters high. What I have done with this plank is, this is the bit that's going to go into the leg. I decided to get a really long plank because I can't really extend it. I don't think, well, at least I don't know how to. So I decided to get a long one, but I needed to waterproof it. So this bit of the plank has been waterproofed because it will be sitting inside the reservoir. I have here a waterproofing substance. Link 
in the description below to what this is. I am no expert. I went to the store and I said to the guy, I want something that I'm going to use to waterproof this plank. What do you suggest? This is what he suggested. It's a waterproofing product. I'm going to put this on my plank and hopefully that will mean that my plank will last for a lot longer while living in the Lekka. Before I do my waterproofing, I need to figure out how much of this plank is going to be in my grower's pot. So I know I'm going to use a 14 centimeter pot so I can easily find out how much of that is going to be there. I'll grab my pen and I'll put a little mark there and I'm going to waterproof it just a little bit above where it comes out. So just about there. So I know that this bit here is what I need to waterproof. I'll get my gloves, I'll bring you down and we'll get started. I've got my gloves on, I've got an apron on as well because I do not want to mess up my dress. So I've given my substrate a good stir. I've got my brush here and I'm going to start putting that on. I'm putting the waterproofing on my plank. That's going on very, very nicely. And I did a number of coats on that and that is ready to go. This is my plant that was sent to me on sphagnum moss. So this is the sphagnum moss that the plant came with. I'm going to moisten that as well. And you can use, you know, water. I'm using foliage focus to moisten that. And I'll just moisten that as well, moisten the plants as well. And as I'll show you what the plant looks like. So that's the back of the plant there. These are the roots that it's got. And this was a bit that started growing, I think, after a cutting was taken. That's that there. Same thing with that one. And I think this is the surface that the plant was growing on before. Probably that just coming off really easily, actually, after I've moistened that. I'm going to try and clean that out, get as much of that off as I can just so the roots have a nice surface to go onto and they're starting again. So being really gentle with this, because these are the only roots we've got at the moment. So yeah, I think I'd leave that like that. So we'll start with a plant that's going to, step to live on the moss pole because I think that's the easier one to get going. I'll spray that again. Just really getting that moss as moist as I can. I've got my cable ties here and that's what's going to help me get that plant against the moss as much as I can. So the soft surface of the Velcro plant tie onto the plant. I'll try and get that in between the leaves if I can. I think it actually might not be possible, but I'll see what I can do. Oh, I don't think that's possible. I got it. I got it. That is my plant tie. I got it in between the leaves and because you, you don't want that plant tie accumulating water underneath it and ending up ruining the leaves. So I've got it in between there, which is absolutely excellent. So I'll now do the other one. Okay, and that is my plant right there. That looks absolutely stunning. So I'll put that to the side and I'll grab my plank. Moisten this a bit more. Now, for this plank, I am going to use, put a thin layer of moss there. Just so the plant has got something to attach to that's actually got going to keep the moisture on because that plank is not yet going to do that for me. And I need this plant to, there we go. 
Okay, I'm going to get rid of some of these because I want this plant to actually grow roots into the leka. So I'll do that, get rid of that and maybe get rid of this one. Right, and I'll put that like that. So this bit over there is going to be in the leka. And that plant is going to be like that. I'll put a little bit more moss on there. And that's like that. Grab my plant ties and do that whole thing again. So soft surface next to the leaves. These are my plants mounted on their mounts. So the important thing to note is that I've left a certain bit of the stem and that's got some roots there. Same thing with the one on the plank because this is the bit of the stem that's going to go inside the leka and I want that bit to actually develop roots down there whilst it's also developing its root system that attaches to the mount. So in order to help that along, I've got some Clonex gel here that I'm going to just rub onto that stem just to help the roots get going as it were. So I'm doing the same on the one that's on the plank. So I just do that. Before I put up the plants, I wanted to show them to you upright. That's the plant that's been mounted on my special moss pole that I've made for this plant. Look at that, that just looks absolutely fabulous. But more importantly, take a look at this bit of the stem that I've left exposed. I've actually had to sacrifice two of the leaves. So I've got this little bit that's going to live inside the leka. This is the one that's living on my plank. So that just looks, it looks absolutely fabulous. But see how it's also got that bit of the stem that's hanging there and that's going to grow into the leka. I've also left, put up some moss right at the top, just so as it starts to grow, it's got something to grow on that's a bit nice and soft and actually will keep hold of the water or rather the nutrient solution. That's that there. Let's pot them up now. I'll start with this one because it's the easier one. So I'm putting this in just a tiny pot. It doesn't really need a big one. This is a 10 centimeter pot, pre-soaked lecker. A little bit in there. And then before I do that, I'm just gonna bend that to make it easier. So that's my pot there. I've got my plant in there and I now start to fill this pot up with leather. Making sure I do the back as well. So that's the back there. So that is my Cryptantha moss pole. Very thin moss pole standing upright in that I don't have to do anything at all. Now is when the fun begins. Um, <laughs> I have no idea how I'm actually going to make this stand up. I'm really gonna have to use the ceramic pot to keep this upright because I don't want this moss pole to be completely straight. I want it to be at a slight angle so that that water is not completely running off. Ugh, let's do it. Got that. There. Put the letter in. Turn it around. That's good. Woo! More letter. 
I am really, really impressed with this. I had no idea it was actually going to work, but I've got this plank at an angle, so it's not 90 degrees, it's at a slight angle. I've got lecker in at the back, I've got lecker in at the front, and the little stem of that plant is in the lecker and it is standing all by itself. Yes, 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 absolute success. And that plant is just there and it looks absolutely glorious. Yes, that is it. That is done. Oh my gosh, I am, I am really stoked with this. I didn't think I'd be able to pull it off, but I have. This plant is living on a plank and it is successfully, this plank is 1.2 meter high and it is steady in my 14 centimeter pot. Yes, if you like this video, please boop the like button. It really helps my channel. What I'm now going to do is I am going to put these two plants in a reservoir and I'll have my Clonex clone solution on that reservoir. I'll put them on a heat mat, keep them moist. So I will be moistening this every day until those roots are really, really developed and that root system at the bottom is developed and that reservoir can then take over. But before that happens, I will be keeping this moist every day with a Clonix clone solution that will be living in the reservoir as well. And once that's all set, I will definitely show them to you and show you what progress they are making. Thanks very much for watching. I'll keep you posted. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you, goodbye.